can I bring home that four peat? I'm going for it, dude. I'm going for it. It feels crazy that the four peat is even on the table. It feels a little bit unreal. But I'll do my best. Now, if you want to improve and you get can't play with people very often, like doing what I'm doing right now, pretty much is a good way to improve in terms of movement and execution. Uh, and then going over your own matches, especially in neutral, like, like what could I have done instead to not lose in this neutral exchange or in punish game? Like, oh, why did my combo end after two hits? What could I have done to extend it to three hits? Uh, differences between playing games out of tournament versus in tournament. Well, in tournaments it's more like, how do you say, it's basically the equivalent of studying for a test and performing on the test. So if you play uh, outside of a tournament, in friendlies, you should not play play to win at all times. You should feel open to uh, experience and testing new things. This is a lot, like, honestly, like, this is why I'm not really a fan when a lot of people in Twitch chat try to keep, you know, the score and the count, because I feel like some people might, like, not top players, but other people, if they stream, they might get the impression that they have to, like, keep winning, keep winning, because people keep count, people keep score, like, oh, like, he won 9, I won 7, I need to win, I need to win, like, that's a wrong fucking mentality, you don't want to have that, when you play friendlies, it's supposed to be a learning process. When you play in tournament, then you're gonna apply everything you learn. There's a big difference. If you have one area or passion, like, you know, pursue it, go for it. Don't care if like a fucking idiot in school tells you that you're a nerd. Don't care if like, they tell you that you're never gonna make it. You're never gonna make it if you believe in this. But if you, if you believe in yourself, then you're gonna fucking do it. And that's all it's about. Like, a lot of people say you're not gonna be able to do it because... Partly, some of them don't want you to make it. They are jealous. They don't want you to succeed. That's often the case, to be honest. And a lot of other times, it's because they lack the understanding and knowledge in the field. Like, I can relate this to my life. A lot of people said I was wasting my time playing this game. But... A lot of people, like afterwards, years later, have actually told me that... It's very cool that I was, you know, sticking through with this over all the years. And... Like... In one way it's fun to have proven wrong. But... It's not only about proving them wrong, it's proving myself right. And I feel like so many people out there that could like do whatever they want to do if they just believed and worked hard for it. But like, the thing is, like nothing worth fighting for comes easy. Like, I've got to be honest with that. Like everything important, everything that is amazing, that's gonna be a fucking hard battle to fight. So you gotta ask yourself from the start, are you willing to, you know, do that like are you gonna be able to or not able to are you willing to do that fight like let's say as era command for example when I do a career in like uh, the film industry then you gotta ask yourself first do I really really want this and if you want to then you just work your fucking ass off and never lose faith if you do these two things and uh, the third thing also being able to identify your own problems then you are in a fucking good way a fucking good way to make it there it's really important to not have too big of an ego some people might refer to like oh but what about this person what about this person a lot of good people are not good people because we shouldn't relate pe people with how they are as a person and what they do uh, because sometimes they don't really go hand in hand but anyway uh, yes a lot of people that are very good at something have a big ego, but they can also recognize for themselves when they're doing something bad.
So that's very important as well. Like, I've played against some Smashers over the years. It doesn't matter if they do the same mistake 100 times, a, like a thousand times, or a fucking million times. They need to defend themselves. They feel the need to explain why this was good. Even though it's no fucking... In any possible universe, this was a good thing to do. And they still feel the need and urge to explain why this was such a good thing to do. These kind of people will never ever make it. That's the truth. You gotta be able to be critical to yourself. Not to the point where you feel discouraged and demoralized. But you gotta be able to tell yourself like, Alright, this was bad. I should do this instead. Because if you're not able to identify your weaknesses, you're never gonna see improvement. And this can be... This can be in any area, to be honest. It can be if you want to improve at Smash, if you want to improve as a person, if you feel like you have anger issues, for example, and you always get angry, you gotta be real. You can't say that, oh, this person made me angry, like, it's this person's fault, blah blah blah. No, at the end of the day, you are the one in charge of your own emotions, and you are the one to control them. If you are a fucking rager all the time, then you are the one that has to change. Not, like, him or her or, like, anyone else. Like, it's you. It's way too easy. It's way too easy to uh, put the blame on someone else. Uh, honestly, I feel like it's too many things that makes the good players good. I feel like just describing us by one word is not giving us uh, justice. Like, I am consistent, but I feel like I'm also so much more as a player than only consistent. Like, if I'll be honest, I feel like sometimes people bring that word up so often and so much that it kind of uh, disregards uh, a lot of other factors. Like, sometimes it basically goes to the point where people s say that consistency is only why I'm winning. Like, if I'm cons like, I win because I'm consistent, but then every time someone else wins, it's like, oh, you play the same. I'm like, no, I don't play the same. Like, that's not how it w is, or how it works. It's never gonna work like that for anyone. Like, I do agree I'm consistent, but it's way more to it. So that's why I don't really like to put out like one or two words to describe someone. Because it makes people think less. Yeah, B-Roy, that's, uh, that's what I feel. Like, it's going to the point where a lot of times people have no idea if I played good or bad. And these refer to consistency. Or during some of Hbox's clutch moments, like, they can't really see if his opponent actually played okay or if they played fucking garbage. Or for Mango, they can't see if he switches up from offense to defense. Or if you play defense entirely, because they only refer to him as uh, aggressive. Or, like with Mewtwo King, that is like... Uh, only like strong punishes or robotic neutral game that he can't even see when his neutral is actually like pretty good or his punishes is sort of lacking 